Meet the barnacle, also known as the sea nut, scientifically named Balanus sp. These creatures belong to a unique group of marine crustaceans called cirripedes. Barnacles are a special type of cirripede that adhere to whale skin through complex biological processes. To understand how they attach, we need to explore their growth stages. Barnacles start their lives as Nauplius larvae, resembling other crustaceans. They go through several larval stages. When they reach the Cypher stage, they seek a permanent home. In the pre-adult stage, they use specialized stalks to attach strongly to a whale's body or any hard surface. They secrete an incredibly strong natural glue to stay in place. This adhesion allows them to remain secure. They can spend their entire lives attached to a whale. Due to their large reproductive organs, they can even reproduce while attached. Despite being just 2 centimeters long, a barnacle's reproductive organ can extend up to 7 centimeters, making it the longest relative to body size in the animal kingdom. Barnacles are sessile animals, meaning they attach to solid objects and remain there for life. They often cling to animals or objects like sea turtles, whales, manatees, ships, and more. However, too many barnacles can harm their hosts. For whales, it's like carrying a heavy backpack constantly. The continuous friction from barnacles can cause skin irritation, abrasions, and injuries. Excessive barnacle accumulation increases drag, affecting the whale's ability to swim efficiently, hunt, and perform other essential activities. Whales just remove the barnacles. It's not that simple. Whales use several strategies to manage barnacle loads. One common method is rubbing against rocks, buoys, or other underwater structures to dislodge them. Some whales use their fins to scrape off barnacles, but due to their size, they can't reach every part of their bodies. Migration can also help. Many barnacle species cannot survive in colder waters, so by migrating, whales can naturally reduce barnacle infestations. extreme cases, where barnacle accumulation threatens the health of a whale, human intervention may be necessary. Marine biologists and conservationists step in to manually clean the whale's skin. Through these strategies, whales maintain their health and continue their majestic journeys across the oceans. Stay tuned as we explore more fascinating marine life stories. We witness a rare and fascinating process the manual removal of barnacles from a whale's skin. Barnacles, while small, can cause significant discomfort and health issues for whales. They attach themselves firmly using a powerful natural adhesive. Removing these barnacles helps to reduce drag, allowing the whale to swim more efficiently and avoid skin irritations and injuries. Whales can't easily remove barnacles themselves, so human intervention is sometimes necessary, especially when the infestation becomes too severe. Thanks to the dedication and care of marine biologists and conservationists, whales can continue their majestic journeys in the ocean, free from the burden of excessive barnacles.
Barnacles don't eat whales, but they can still cause harm to these majestic creatures. The presence of barnacles can disrupt a whale's natural development and even lead to health problems. However, we can't label barnacles as parasites. For an organism to be considered a parasite, it must feed off its host. In this case, barnacles do not feed on the whales, even though their presence can negatively impact the whale's health. Barnacles are better described as amphibious organisms that live on the surface of another living creature without feeding on it. There are records of a specific type of barnacle that does feed on its host. In the case of parasitic barnacles, one species called Analasma squalicola is known to feed on lantern sharks. Even Charles Darwin, who was fascinated by barnacles, discussed these parasitic types in 1851, describing them as true parasites. These parasitic barnacles have a specialized organ called a peduncle which resembles the roots of a tree. This peduncle penetrates the shark's flesh and absorbs nutrients, much like a root system. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more incredible marine life content.